So today, um, I kind of want to explain the basics of a synthesis, in particular subtractive uh, synthesis. And uh, to do that, I'm going to be kind of building a haphazard uh, synth in SynthMaker just to kind of explain uh, each part. And then you can see it being built in a modular way. Um, this is a modular synthesis, but this is just basic. It's based off, I'd say it would be slightly based off uh, the the mini moog mini moog whatever uh, but think of it as uh, polyphonic so um, basically we have uh, a, synth uh, a synthesizer has just uh, sound generators a series of them they're called uh, um, they're called oscillators and these oscillators are just like a signal pulse wave. Think of this as like an electric signal going in one path. It starts off with like, say, a circuit or integrated circuit or a series of circuits that uh, each kind of have their own shape. Now, sine is just a basic sine wave. Right. We have saw, uh, sawtooth. More jaggedy triangle wave, which is kind of like a sine slash sawtooth. Uh, square wave and then a noise uh, oscillator which is just every single uh, ev everything on the spectrum just activated if that makes any sense um, but for this demonstration we'll do sawtooth because that um, that's a, a little bit easier to work with and you can see kind of what it does so uh, basically if you're building a synthesizer and you're um, an electronics engineer and you know what you're doing and I wish I knew I could do that uh, you want uh, MIDI data which is keyboard like anything on your keyboard anything that goes along there uh, uh, to come in the MIDI uh, is converted to data and it tells the oscillators what to do and uh, what you what you can do is you can uh, press a C note, regular C note, and then you could press the same note and lower the octave of the oscillator, and it goes down. And that'll come into use when we uh, try not to pay attention to this. It's a little confusing. Oops, doodle. So what we're doing is we're adding another module. So. Please don't be afraid of this. We'll clean this up there. And what we did, oops, I'll do is I'll edit the front panel. And then what we have, just to test this out. Yep, yeah, she works. We have uh, two oscillators. Uh, we have two rows of them. And so what we'll do is we'll just lower this one's um, pitch down I'm just, I'm just pressing one key uh, what we can also do is uh, adjust the fine tune so those oscillators they're starting at the same time but they're um, uh, the oscillators are playing at slightly different speeds, so they're kind of sta they start stacked up, and then they slowly um, uh, phase apart. And that uh, is a useful tool. Um, but for this example, we'll uh, just leave these guys as is. So to make it slightly a little more confusing, we'll add one more oscillator. So we have three oscillators now. Oops. We have three oscillators, and uh, we're kind of building a uh, polyphonic mini moog. Polyphonic means it plays more than one note, and uh, monophonic means it just plays one note. Um, and we have a MIDI to poly uh, MIDI um, thing here. I'm not. An engineer. Oops. Edit the front panel again. Oops. Just 
Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay. So, uh, what I'll do is, oops. This is, the, this is the best way I think I can explain it. Let's verify. That we drag and dropped. And all our oscillators are working correctly. And they are. So uh, each uh, oscillator has a volume control. Um, just like on um, the mini move, there's a mixer. And this is like a haphazard mixer. And um, we will have noise as a last one. Just That's just how you do it. Um, so we have all this. And this is basically uh, a three oscillator synth. It's the basic of the basics. And uh, we can do all sorts of fun shit. Like raise that one up. fun so we'll go back we'll just use one oscillator please stop me if I'm being confusing now uh, we will move these guys out of the way hopefully you can understand the routing so just to recap we have the MIDI data coming in and the MIDI data being processed uh, automatically and each of these uh, MIDI data is going to these oscillators and the MIDI data tells these oscillators to uh, activate and um, uh, we have them, we have we'll have them activating and then we have the the, the different um, oscillator types sawtooth sign triangle etc and then to an amplifier module and then that goes out to our stereo amp which is a group amp and then it goes to converts it into stereo and then it goes out. So now we're going to do something a little more complicated. We're going to um, implement an ADSR and an ADSR basically uh, sets the attack, um, sustain or decay, sustain, release. So we're going to delete this routing because we need these to go into here. Right? All these oscillators going into here, and this is going to go out to our container. And what we'll do is we'll just make this all nice and neat so we can go through it later and see what's going on. Well, I'm an idiot. You can get where that's going. It's kind of broken. Um, so. This panel. Okay. We have our ADSR, and ADSR is another amplifier um, module. But um, so say, and it and it alters um, the attack. Like how, like without it, it just kind of kind of sounds, you know, sterile. So yeah. So without it, it sounds kind of sterile, but if you adjust the attack, slowly comes in, that's for pads, and whatever you want. So, yeah, and then um, the decay, it uh, kind of plucks it. Oops. So I'm holding it. And it's just kind of, you know, it's not playing when I'm holding when I'm holding it. It's only playing like a first little bit. Turn the sustain up. Now the release when I release the key, it uh, continues to play. And it releases. It's it's like magic, basically. So we have we have um, MIDI data going into our oscillators. These are our oscillators going into an ADSR amplifier and then out. Right? You understand? So what 
we're going to do now is we're going to delete that and add a filter. Filter goes, we'll put it here. Okay. And we'll have it out through the ADSR and then out through here to our container. And what that does is that cuts off all the lower frequencies. Right? I want you to be able to kind of see all this where it's going. Okay, so we have our filter. Our resonant. Oh, sorry, ears. What that does is that kind of like shaves off the top and uh, creates like a nice kind of harmonic. You notice the track doesn't do anything yet. No, I'll just. So now we have the filter we have to put in. So the filter we'll put here. Okay. And the filter it goes from the 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 oscillators, right, with its own um, amplifier, to its uh, attack. Uh, decay sustain release amplifier out to our filter and then out to our uh, stereo bus amp thing and then out to our speakers and this is almost we almost have a fully fledged synthesizer here so now we're gonna add another ADSR now who knows where this is going what we're gonna do is I hope I have this right. We're going to have this going into the pitch. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Sorry to activate that. Oh, I have another pitch. There we go. My knob. So we have the envelope. We have the ADSR acting as an envelope generator, kind of like this. It's doing the same thing with the the volume. So it's doing the same thing with the volume but it's going into the filter and the ADSR is attached to the filter and I almost failed, I don't know this program that well so um, we'll pl uh, put this right below this guy so now we have the, the filter having its own ADSR like the volume does <laughs> So that sounds kind of retro y and uh, it's quite exciting, methinks. Um, and that's the ADSR going in the filter. And, um, it works kind of magically, if you know, if I say so myself. Um, what else is there? Okay, well let's let's kind of recap. Um, so basically, we have um, the keys coming in through your MIDI controller or your keyboard or your QWERTY keyboard. Uh, um, the MIDI coming in being converted into data, uh, going to each of the oscillators. Oscillators always creating a sound the volume turned down. So we have these three, or these two rather, um, activated and those produce just a simple shape. Uh, it's, uh, like it's a mathematical shape uh, made by circuitry and then it goes to their amplifiers and then out to the ADSR which is 
um, altering the start time release and then that going into the filter and then that filter going into the stereo app and then out but the filter as an attachment as its own ADSR and then the ADSR is doing the same thing to the amplifiers before it goes to the filter and the filters um, uh, the, the ADSR is altering the filter and this was uh, big shit back in the, in the 70s and 80s and uh, some geniuses made this out of you know just soldering and dicking around smoking weed and shit I'm guessing and then uh, yeah who knows but this is uh, a basic synthesizer and we kinda put it together using the modules we had and uh, what I will do is I will we already know what happens when you drop the key and shit but uh, I'll show you detunage so we'll just detune all these guys <laughs> educational shows used to watch in high school anyway that's uh that's it we're going to um take a look at silent one next and apply everything we learned in this kind of confusing modular setup uh to uh, a workhorse of a synth that i'm a big fan of that's uh, a little bit more complicated but we'll uh we'll figure it out okay take care